just prepare my bike, new tires, new brakes. Time to use it to head into the shop every day. So let's do this. Good day to you and how you be everybody, this is Nyanya Rosto here and today we're talking about six bad habits in screen printing. But before that, I gotta get this job going. I got a navy blue t-shirts that have to be printed on the front, sleeve and on the back using yellow ink. I have to do an underbase because something about the yellow ink once you print and then you flash and then you print over, it looks nice but not good enough so let's do this. Number one bad habit not changing your mesh count. For years, I kept using the 110 mesh. Yeah, it does mostly all the jobs, but it's not really ideal for a lot of the jobs, man. Like right now, today I'm doing this yellow with an underbase, so I'm gonna go with the 160 mesh for the underbase, and I'm gonna do a, maybe a 200 with the yellow. Try to keep it as thin, because that 110 just piles up ink and it feels so rough, so, Bad habit number one is that, not changing your mesh count, like just having all your screens of 110, nah, change that habit. Bad habit number two, not thoroughly cleaning your equipment. Um, you're gonna have flex of ink, some lint from the past, shirts that you were doing all over the place. All these can can ruin your your final product on a shirt. You're gonna have a lint, you print, it's gonna be a lint on the shirt. Clean all that up. Make sure you clean all your pallets, dust off your press. You could save a lot of waste by just cleaning your shop completely. And most important, wash your hands. While you're printing, make it a habit of always washing my hand, always looking at your hand, make sure there's no ink. There's no ink somewhere around your hands. Clean your hands thoroughly while you're printing, while you're doing the production, because you don't want to ruin a shirt. Number three bad habit is not checking your press before each print run. A lot of printers, I'm one of them, will skip this step just to save some time. What's gonna happen is just gonna result in a lot of printing problems. The balls that hold the pallets and the print heads is gonna start getting kind of loose once you're in the printing process. They're gonna start shifting during the printing process and they're gonna start giving you um, blur images and smudge. It's just gonna look horrible. It's gonna mess up your shirt. So make sure that all the bolts of the print head and of the pallets, they are tightened. Make sure they tighten, they're not moving so you could be able to just keep printing without worrying about any shift or messing up shirts. <laughs> not taking test prints. It's another step that screen printers usually will just skip. Just to speed up the timing process, you have to take test prints. It might look good on the screen, it might look good on the film, but till you print it on a shirt, that's when you're gonna really know what's going on, any little dots, maybe a misspell, maybe the color is not what you thought it was, but taking test prints will make sure that you ain't gonna damage no other shirts.
Bad habit number five, not taking advantage of outside resources. Is this a job you cannot do? Maybe he's asking for five or seven colors and you only could do four. Have someone you could take this job to. You know, take it so you could keep this client. Order the shirts yourself. Make a little profit out of those shirts, then send them to the outside resource. Let them print it or do embroidery, whatever, and then bring it back because now you made a little profit with those shirts. And most important, you keeping that client coming to you. So the day that you're able to do these type of jobs, you're gonna have them. Bad habit number six, and this is the final one. This is the one I'm gonna start doing more often. I have done it before, but I gotta get into that habit of doing it every time, and it's using your underbase as a highlight. You gotta stop that. Um, when you use your underbase as a highlight, you end up putting down too much ink on the shirt. Sometimes giving it a heavy hand is too much ink, especially when it's time to cure. You don't know if you're, having, if you're putting two more of the colors on top of that, you're gonna have some curing issues. You think it's cured and it's not, it's just gonna start cracking. So let's avoid using the underbase as a highlight white. Let's just underbase, red, blue, and then highlight white. So um, it's worth taking the extra effort and prepare a screen just for the highlight white. Your shirts will come out better. It will look better. It will feel much smoother. I'm curious about what other bad habits you should avoid. Comment down below so we could all learn from each other and get better as a screen printer. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.